Hi Table Tennis Junkies! This week I'm going to be teaching you the straight backspin pendulum serve. The serve has some pretty big advantages to it, but also has some disadvantages. So I'll be teaching you the serve, but also the pros and cons of the serve. I'm pretty excited for this video, so let's get started. start with the grip and the stance on all of my serves. So the way that I like to hold my racket on this serve is just with the index finger up like this and the, the other three fingers off the racket like that. If you're a pen hold player, I probably would say to put the, the back three fingers on the racket like this. That'll help you to get and stay underneath the ball really well. Remember that if you're a shake hands player, the reason why I recommend to change the grip with the index finger on the rubber and the other three fingers off of the handle is because it'll allow you to have much better wrist motion through your serve and it'll allow you to have much better spin on your serves. So I actually use this grip for all of my pendulum serves. For my stance on this, it'll be the same as my other pendulum serves where my left foot is gonna be in front of my right. My body's gonna be very close to the table and my left leg is actually brushing up against the table on this. For normal pendulum serves with side spin on them, it's best to serve them from the backhand court because the side spin on the pendulum serve is going to pull the ball into your backhand. So you can prepare for that by just being ready over here or maybe by turning the corner if you're an aggressive player and like to use your forehand. If you are serving the straight backspin or a straight spin without any side spin on it, it's much more flexible. You don't have to serve it from the backhand court. You can serve it from the backhand, you can serve it from the middle, or you can serve it from the forehand. But that pull with the side spin doesn't exist, so you have a little bit more flexibility in where you serve it from. For my game, I generally still serve the straight pendulum serves from the backhand corner, but I'll still change it up sometimes and serve from the middle or from the forehand corner. What this does is it'll allow me to hit different angles and open up some different opportunities. And if my opponent doesn't change their ready position based on where I'm serving from, I can definitely catch them off guard and expose some weaknesses in their ready position. When you're returning serves, you should always be prepared for the ball cross court of wherever the server is coming from. So if I'm serving in my backhand corner, my opponent should be cross court in, the, in their backhand. If I'm serving from the middle, my opponent should be in the middle. And if I'm serving from the forehand, my opponent should be more ready on the forehand side. The exception to this rule is based on past behavior. So if I'm serving a ball and I serve it down the line a lot, then my opponent can shift over and be prepared for that down the line. But when you're starting out, you should always be prepared cross court of wherever your opponent is serving from. A strategy you can use for your game is if you're serving from the backhand corner and your opponent is prepared in the backhand corner, and that's pretty normal, but then you decide, I'm gonna try serving from the forehand corner. If your opponent doesn't shift their ready position and move to prepare for the, uh, the cross court into the forehand, that wide forehand is gonna be very exposed. So instead of serving something short or passive, I might serve something fast and wide into the forehand because it's gonna be wide open and my opponent isn't gonna be in position to hit it. Let's go over the stroke on this serve. So the way that I like to think of it is you want to have pure backspin on your serve. When you're serving, you only have so much energy coming into the contact point, and generally some of that energy is going to be translated into backspin, and some of that energy is going to be translated into side spin. So with this serve, you're trying to get pure backspin and getting 100% of your energy going into creating backspin. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a lot of backspin, and this is going to have much more backspin on it than uh, like a side backspin serve would have on it. So to get pure backspin on your serve, there are a few key things to consider. So the first thing is you wanna start directly behind the ball. You don't wanna start behind your body this way or away from your body this way because as you contact the ball, as you approach it, you're gonna be coming to the side or coming to the side this way and that's gonna create side spin on the serve. You want all of that energy going into creating backspin so you wanna start directly behind the ball. Your starting point behind the ball will actually be different depending on where your target and where you're serving to. So for instance, if you're serving down the line, your starting point is gonna be behind the ball this way. So it's gonna be point A, point B, point C. And you wanna have that segment, point A, point B, point C. If you're serving cross court that way, and you're starting here, that's point A, point B, and then point C is over there. So you actually need to shift, instead of starting here, you're gonna to wanna to start back this way. So that way it's a straight line from your starting point of the stroke to the contact to where the ball is gonna end up. Another way you might be generating unwanted side spin on your serve is with a tilted wrist. And what I mean by that is you might have your wrist tilted down this way, so you're hitting the side of the ball this way, or maybe it's tilted up this way and you're hitting kind of the, the outside side of the ball this way. 
What you want is you want to have your racket pretty much parallel with the floor, so that way you're really hitting the true south pole of the ball in the serve. I'll demonstrate the serve here first without the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'll be pretending I'm serving the ball down the line. So my starting point is going to be behind the ball this way. I'm going to be coming through and underneath the ball like this. Just straight through. Um, my wrist is flicking. My grip is like that. Um, and just coming underneath the ball like this. Here it is in action. I'll do the same serve straight backspin, but I'll be serving it cross court now. So instead of starting so much like straight behind it, I'll be starting more behind my body this way. And that way it's point A, point B, and point C. Okay, so how do I prepare for the third ball after this serve? Well, since it's short and it's heavy backspin, it's gonna be pretty limiting for my opponent and their only realistic options are gonna to be to come in and drop shot it short or to push it deep. In either case, I'll wanna play close to the table and prepare for one of those two things. Okay, so how would I return the serve if somebody did it to me? Well, it would really kind of depend on how my opponent looked after they served it. If they look really attentive and they're, they're on their toes and they're looking aggressive, I'd want to prevent them from attacking, so I'd probably come in and I'd drop shot it. If they're looking flat-footed, then I'd want to come in and try to catch them off guard and push hard out at them. One thing I wouldn't want to do is I wouldn't want to come in and do a flick on this serve because there's a lot of backspin on it, and it would be just far too dangerous to, to do that because in order to flick this, I'd have to give it lift, and it really kind of sets my opponent up for an easy shot where it would be hard to be very aggressive on it. So I'd probably stay away from that and do something either short or long with backspin. Let's go over some of the pros and cons of the straight backspin pendulum serve compared to the side backspin pendulum serve. I'll start with the pros. The first pro is that the straight backspin pendulum serve is going to give you a very clean third ball. When you start adding side spin to serves, after your opponent returns it, that side spin will sometimes stick to the ball and it'll make it bounce kind of funny and act weird. But with the straight backspin serve, that you don't have to worry about that and when your opponent returns it, you're going to get a much cleaner ball. The second pro on this serve is you're going to get much greater backspin on it. All of your energy is going to be going into creating that backspin instead of like part backspin and part sidespin. And because all of that energy is going into backspin, you're going to get a lot more backspin with it. The third pro on this is that it's really flexible as far as where you can serve from. Most pendulum serves are done in the backhand court, but with a straight backspin serve, you can really do it from anywhere on your side of the table. Some of the cons to the straight backspin serve are it's a little bit harder for you to predict where your opponent will return the serve because when you serve the ball with side spin, the ball is going to pull to one direction or the other, so it's a little bit easier to predict uh, where your opponent will return it. But with a straight backspin, you don't really get that pull, so it makes it a little bit harder. Another con is that it's a little bit easier for your opponent to read this serve because they're not going to have to worry about any side spins, they're just focusing on the backspin, so it's a little bit more obvious for your opponent to read the spin. A third con to this serve is that it's actually harder to keep it short. And the reason for that is because when you serve a straight spin, the ball is going to go in a straight line. Where if you serve a, a side spin, like a side back spin, the ball is going to curve and it's going to stay over the table for a longer distance. So those are actually easier to keep short. 
A fourth con is that it's actually a little bit harder to make good contact with this serve because the ball is gonna be coming down and you're trying to hit underneath it where most serves you're kind of hitting on the side and you can kind of go more forward on it. And those are a little bit easier to hit, but when you're serving a straight backspin, it's kind of hard to get good contact on this. In recapping, remember that the focus on this serve is to get pure backspin on it. So when you're approaching the ball, try to approach it from directly behind the ball and don't tilt your wrist on this. This serve has a lot more flexibility on where you might serve it from, so you might want to experiment with this a little bit and serve some from the backhand corner, some from the middle, and maybe some from your forehand court. And something to, be, to pay attention to is if your opponent doesn't shift at all depending on where you're serving from, you can really take advantage of this. For instance, if you're serving from the forehand court and they don't shift at all cross court, instead of serving short backspin, you might want to change it up and serve something fast and wide out to their forehand because if they're still standing in the backhand court and the forehand's wide open, it's going to be an easy serve to hit and it's probably going to win you some points easily on it. You really always want to prepare for a serve cross court of wherever the server is serving from. The last thing in the recap is to expect a push from your opponent after doing this serve. If you're used to just doing side backspin serves, you'll probably be surprised at how much backspin you'll get by just doing the straight backspin serve. And this is going to be very limiting for your opponent and it's going to force them into doing something passive on their return. That's all for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. And if you have any questions or serve requests, put them in the comment section of this video. I'd love to actually hear how this serve works for you in your game. So if you are used to doing this serve or maybe you're experimenting with it and putting it in your game, let me know how it goes in the comment section. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Here it is with the ball. You see how it hit the net and it came straight back? That's a good sign that it was straight backspin. <laughs> Missed the serve, but good backspin.